We're into August here on the Football Spy Show. It's the final five weeks of the transfer window. On the show today, we've got Mesut Ozil, Rocky Santa Cruz, Joe Hart and the Spurs youngster Johnny Bostock. We've also got some more of your top six tips, your teams and the way you want them to line up and the transfers that have been dragging on for so long. They really are doing your head in. But first, as always, let's get some transfer news in. And we start with bad news for all of you Manchester United fans expecting to see the Werder Bremen midfielder Mesut Ozil at the club this summer. The 21-year-old Germany star is indeed in the last year of his contract, but he says he'll see out that year, meaning that he'll have even more of a stampede for his services in January and next summer. I've got a feeling United will indeed be back for him in January when they can get him for nothing on a pre-contract Bosman deal. Uh, the stars say that Man City have refused to loan Craig Bellamy to Spurs, forcing Harry Redknapp into a bidding war with Fulham boss Mark Hughes for the Wales striker. The mirrors say that Redknapp's ready to sell England striker Peter Crouch for £7 million if he can get a quick replacement in to refresh his forward line for the new season. Aston Villa could be priced out of a move for the Celtic winner Aidan McGeady uh, after Spartak Moscow bid £9.5 million for him. That's in the sun. In the mail, the, uh, in the Greek side Olympiakos are vying with Marseille and Vanabachi to sign Rocky Santa Cruz for Man City. We're hearing that Fulham in the mix for him as well on loan. And just the other day, the Spurs youngster Johnny Bostock was having a bit of a moan about foreigners preventing him from getting first team football. Well, now he could be about to get it with Hull. They want him on loan for the coming season. SkySports.com report that Manuel Almunia is insisting he's staying at Arsenal, even though Arsene Wenger's actively looking at Mark Schwarzer to replace him. The Manchester City keeper Joe Hart has told Sportsweek that he'd consider another loan move if he doesn't play regularly this season. And finally, the Birmingham City boss Alex McLeish wants owner Carson Young to start providing funds to sign players, starting with Wigan's Charles Nzogbia. That's in the mirror. Now, just before we move on, a quick thanks to all of you for your messages and your contributions to the Football Spy Files. We're glad you like them. And very soon, we'll have a week of the Football Spy Files. So get them into us, all of your teams in your top sixes, and we'll feature them on the show. As for your predictions for that top six, based on the players being bought this summer, and they're still coming into us, which is great, this is Richard Price on our email, spy at mirror.co.uk. He thinks Arsenal will win the league, and if they get a good keeper and another centre-back, uh, he thinks that their chances will be be even better. He'd take Per Mertesacker in defence from Werder Bremen and the Ajax keeper Marcus Stecklenberg. He thinks they'll help uh, Arsenal to finish ahead of Chelsea. Uh, Izzam's in Jordan. He's actually a Manchester City fan but he thinks Liverpool will leapfrog his own team and the likes of Arsenal and Chelsea to win the title. Interesting to see he doesn't think the City will finish in the top four and he thinks Aston Villa will finish in the top six. Jesse Caldera is another one who thinks Liverpool will do well this coming season, but he thinks they might come second to Chelsea with Man United and Arsenal in third and fourth and City yet again out of the money. Interesting again to see that he thinks Everton will sneak into sixth. Uh, a couple more and Lee Lewis has Chelsea finishing ahead of Man City with Arsenal in third and Man United in fourth. And Tristan Fitzpatrick has his Man U side beating Liverpool to the title with the Chelsea pensioners in third and Arsenal fourth. As for your teams and the way you want them to line up next season, uh, Carson Gaisley has been on with his West Ham 11. He thinks the Hammers could make an ambitious move for the 30-year-old Roma keeper Doni, who surplus to requirements at his club. His back four is interesting as he's got the left-back Harita Ilumba at right-back instead of Julia Faubert or Valon Barami. He's also got the Portsmouth full-back Nadel Belhaj at left full-back and a good holding midfield, to be fair, of Parker and Hitzelsperger. The left winger and new signing Pablo Barrera is on the left of a three behind Freddie Pickion and the other two support players, Kevin Prince-Boteng and Jimmy Bullard. But I'm not sure about that team. A bit unbalanced in defence and attack. Chris Devaney's a Spurs fan. He's sent in his team. His defensive uh, midfield is very strong. But it's a front four for me, which is interesting. He's got the Germany World Cup star. We talked about him. Mesut Ozil behind Klasian Huntelaar from AC Milan. A good side, but the jury's still very much out on Huntelaar. <laughs> Keep your teams coming in to us here on the Football Spy Show. Email us 
at spy at mirror.co.uk or post on YouTube or on the Mirror Football website, mirrorfootball.co.uk. Now, there's been no movement on the sagas involving Milner, Balotelli, Cole or Fabregas, although Arsene Wenger has called on Cesc Fabregas to make a statement on his future this week. But I want to know, Arsenal fans, do you think Arsenal should just sell now to Barcelona considering Cesc is not 100% committed to the club or should Wenger continue fighting to keep him. And just before we go, we asked you last week which transfer sagas were now starting to get on your nerves a bit. And lots of you have had a fair bit to say. Uh, Chikorito fan wants to see the back of the Fabregas saga. Uh, let's have a look. Joe Gamito Football says that the Balotelli saga's driving him mad. The Aston Villa official FC says that the Milner saga's driving him mad, probably for obvious reasons. And the Black Tipping Point says the Cesc Fabregas saga because of Barcelona's lack of class. Here, here. The Football Spy Show is back with you tomorrow and indeed for the rest of the week. I'll see you next time.